a very good morning once again students this is part 3 for lesson number 4 that is keyboard special keys for class 2 today in this chapter topics that we will cover are key combination and notepad so let's start with key combination it's on page number 32 key combination i guess you understand its meaning as name implies it is combination of keys means use of two or more keys to generate a result like alt and control keys we have already done that in part 2 or shift key we know that if we press only shift key or alt key no function will perform right so some other keys must be pressed along with them to generate a specific result right so that is key combination pressing two or more keys at the same time now in your book read the second paragraph of key combination that is you can press these keys either at the same time or one after the other while holding down each key until the last key is pressed what it means in simple words if you want three keys to be performed to perform some specific function you want three keys to be pressed okay so first uh, press the one key for first key first and hold it then second key and hold it and finally last key children do not leave the first two keys until you press the last key okay keep holding for first two keys and then press the third key don't leave those first two keys until you press the last key okay because all three keys must be pressed together right now two examples are there i have written um, marked it underline and written learn also so learn it they are very easy first example is of two keys combination of two keys that is alt and f4 when you press these two keys together which function it perform it close the current software the current software whatever it is open it will close that function uh, software okay and the second is combination of three keys that is control alt and delete if you press these three keys together it restarts your computer it restarts your computer okay children it's very simple key combination is pressing two or more keys at the same time let's move further now on page number 33 notepad let's read notepad is a quick and easy software used for typing in computer if you want to type something notepad is the most easiest and quick software notepad is very quick and easy software used for typing if you want to type like for example you want to type an essay or an application so notepad in computer notepad is most most easy or very quick software okay you can type letters words sentences and numbers in notepad all right children okay now you want to type in notepad notepad is very quick and easy software but how can we start or open a notepad in a computer 
okay we switch on the computer but how can we go to notepad now how can we open it how can we start a notepad same page down there are steps to open notepad can you see those steps two steps are on the same page and two steps on next page total four steps there are four steps to open notepad on a computer now what are these four steps before going to the first step uh, just keep in mind that first thing what you have to do is you have to turn on your computer your sh computer should be on once computer gets on once your computer gets on then follow the steps four steps okay so the first one is first one is click on start button the arrow is showing you the start button on that button that button is start button that button you have to click with the help of mouse first is this step second is click on all programs when you click on start button this box will get open and you can see all program there the arrow is showing all programs the pictures are also available in your books you can check the third one is click on accessories okay so you can see the accessory again the highlighted one then the fourth one is click on notepad you can see notepad there when you click on accessories you can see the notepad there down after paint so we will click on notepad so these are the four steps and after performing these four step you will get the notepad program window that notepad program will appear on your screen like this now on page number 34 you can see one picture of notepad window it's having title bar menu bar cursor text area as you can see in your, in, in the picture now in notepad window there are the four things which you should know title bar menu bar cursor and text area let's look at them one by one arrow shows the title bar first title bar the top most bar that display the title of the program it is a top most bar and it shows the title title bar at the is at the top and it shows us the title okay title means you can say heading let's take an example very simple example if you uh, if you want to write an any essay or application so you also write the title the heading at the top like you will write the heading at the top and then start writing the essay or application same like is here title bar come at the top of the window which shows us it shows us the title of the program so arrow is showing you the title bar next is menu bar you can see the menu bar the arrow is showing the menu bar what menu bar is having menu bar is having different menus of notepads what are the things what are the uh, 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 things we have in notepads so there are some menus and menus are on menu bar you can see the menu bar on your screen then cursor i guess you all know what is cursor it is a small blinking line on the screen small blinking line on the screen 
I have marked circle over cursor. That is your cursor. Okay. Whatever you type, it will come there where the cursor blinks. Now next is text area. Text area where you can type your text. This is the full area like your paper, uh, page on which you uh, write. So this is the area where you can type. Whole area. In the whole area you can type. Okay. So I guess you are clear with notepad. How to start notepad. And what are the things on the notepad. Okay children. Sh shall we move further. Now next is. Typing text using keyboard. Let's read. You can type the text in a notepad by using the keyboard. Okay. Notepad is a typing software. We have already done that. Notepad is a typing software and we can type in notepad with the help of keyboard. Right? Now next one more important thing is if you type anything it will come where your cursor blinks. I guess you already know this. So whatever you type it will appear where the cursor blinks and it's showing you the cursor also in, the, in your book. You can check there. Look at the screen like this you can type and it will come where the cursor blinks. Cursor is very important children. I hope you all know what is cursor now. Okay. Okay. Now on next page, page number 35. Some text is there. Let's read. My name is Geeta. I am 8 years old. Now computer has written uh, two lines, two sentences in notepad. That is my name is Geeta and I am 8 years old. Now these are two different sentences on separate lines. Now we have to join them and get the output on one single line. Like this. See we have the input like this which I have marked my name is Geeta and I am 8 years old. Two different sentences. Two different lines. Now we want the output like this. My name is Geeta and I am 8 years old. In one line. Alright. Alright. So how we can do it? See. In what, what, what the input is. My name is Geeta and I am 8 years old. In two different lines. Now keep your cursor in front of second sentence means second line before I. Why? Because we want to take this line the second sentence to the first sentence for joining. Okay, we want to take the second sentence to first line to join them the first sentence and the two sentence. So we will keep our cursor in front of second sentence before I. After doing this when our cursor is here then what we have to do we have to press one key from the keyboard. Which key? Backspace key. Which key? Backspace key. Back means it will take you back. It takes the sentence to first line like this backspace means it takes the sentence to back up backspace key okay got it very easy okay let's move further now they have given some more examples for practice example number one and example number two we have to do it in same way like there are two different sentences it is a sunny day and it is very hot and in example number two I study in grade two 
and my class teacher is dash. So you can fill your class teacher name there and if you want to join them these two lines in one line you, what you have to do keep your cursor in front of second line and then press one key which key backspace key yes so in that way you can join two different lines in one line okay now check example number three now in example number three input is like in one line early to bed and early to rise now it's in one line now we want it to break we want to break it into two lines earlier what we were doing we having two lines then we are joining now we having one line we want to break that line now how can we break that line see we have input like this early to bed and early to rise in one line but we want output like this in two lines now what we can do keep your cursor from where you want to break okay keep your cursor there in front of that sentence from where you want to break now i want to break it from early to rise so i keep my cursor in front of that early second sentence then again i have to press one key now if we want to join earlier in in one line we will press back key so that it will take it back to back it but now we will not use backspace key we will use now we want to break we will use which key enter key we will use which key enter key first we have to take the cursor in front of the second line from where where we want to break that line and then we have to press enter key after pressing enter key you will see it will come in two different lines okay easy it's very interesting right so children we are done with this chapter i request you all to please revise this chapter again one more time okay and now we are left with a uh, book exercise question answers extra question answers and full forms of this chapter that we will cover in our next part thank you